G'day people, how are you going? My name is Glenn, and I like to talk about coins and banknotes. But first, let's do some shout outs. So, there are three people I would like to shout out, and if you actually want to be shouted out, then uh, just leave a comment below so I know. Uh, the first one is Derek's Watch and Coin Reviews. Now, he does uh, content on Australian coins and uh, watches. And if you're listening, can you just please leave a comment down below so people can actually find it easier. All you need to do is just click on his image and it'll take you straight to his channel. But I will also leave a link to his channel as well. And he seems to do pretty good reviews. Um, they're mainly from the Royal Australian Mint. But um, I would like... Um, him to actually put more content on his uh, channel because I think he's awesome. The second person I'd like to shout out is a uh, loyal warrior, and he is a person from Russia. I think he said 400 kilometers north of Moscow. I uh, can't remember where exactly, but I think it's important to keep your privacy and. He actually comments on a few of my channels because this is not the only channel I do. The other channels actually have nothing to do with uh, coins. But um, yeah, he seems to be stalking me. Hmm. Nah, that's all right. He's cool. Um, he actually does videos as well. He does uh, little clips about his life and where he lives. And I find it quite interesting where he lives in Russia. Because of, well, know, two months ago, it was just full of snow. It's more snow than I've ever actually seen in my life. And yes, he, I think he's a better editor than myself. But go, go and look at his channel because he's awesome. And the third person I'd like to shout out is Ink YouTuber TV. Now, she's a, a female, she uh, comes from the Philippines. And she actually does do some uh, coin videos and she also does some Minecraft videos and some other stuff as well. But the most interesting thing, she does something called Jump Stop where she takes a, a frame of something. So she takes a frame of a coin and then she takes another frame, another frame, another frame, another frame. And it's like one of those old, oh, I can't remember what you call it. It just looks like that the coin is moving along each frame by frame at one time. And I find that quite interesting. I've never actually seen that on YouTube before, which is very unique as far as I'm concerned. So check out those three people. They're awesome. So here we get into the coins. Uh, so the first one I have is uh, actually one that's actually been bent a bit. It's actually been stretched. And this is a... Dutch or Netherlands one golden so it has William or oh, Wilhelm Koninken der Netherlanden and this is one golden of 1928 not a rare coin but because it's been stretched I'm just wondering how the hell they done it you can see there's some damage on here so maybe they rolled over it somehow with a grater, I'm not too sure, but that's that's really curious. And also have uh, some South African Republic one shillings, 1897. That's not the oldest here, so we'll put those two together. And then I have a Japanese 100 yen. This is uh, 34 year, so oh, I can't remember the AH. Um, the current that emperor actually got on the throne in 1928 i think so yeah here i have some austrian coins so i got a 10 shilling 1957 uh, with the coat of arms and the head with uh the hat from lower austria and also over five shillings as well 1961 coat of arms and a guy on a horse can't remember what he was actually doing, jumping around, equestrian or something like that. And now I have a 
Oh. Uh, Netherlands Indies, so this is current Indonesia, 1 tenth of a golden, so 10 cents, 1942. Mm, this adds a very high mintage. I have a oh, two French coins, so this one's 1917, 50 centimeters. And this was adopted in the re denomination in uh, 1960. You know, so they actually recycled the image. It has Liberty advancing left with some rays. And also have a two franc in this denomination, 1902. And the one and five francs are actually the same image. So they're both silver. I have a 25 ore. This is probably Sweden. Yep. Sverige. Sverige's 1932. Definitely Sweden. Demo. I'll leave that one. Because that's a funny denomination. I have a Swiss half uh, franc or 50 rupin or 50 centimeters. 43, pretty common coin. I think it's like 4 million of this one. And with Swiss coins, I actually got Helvetia. It doesn't have Switzerland on it. And the Helvets were actually a, I think they were a German tribe that inhabited the area. Um, well, during the Roman times. Now, uh, this one is a Prussian coin. So, Wilhelmer Deutsches Kaiser König von Prussen. And this has a mint marker B. Um, so, German King, German Emperor, King of Prussia. Okay, so it's a King of the Prussian province. And it has these two marks then. So, this was probably part of a brooch. Or something at some time. This is a two mark coin. 1876. It was actually the second highest minted two mark coin from this series. Now the two most curious coins I have is a 15 Kopec 1916. This has a mintage of oh, I think nearly 100 million. But 15 Kopecs, it's like having a 15 cent coin. And you have the coat of arms on the other side, which is quite awesome. The most curious one I have is this one. So this one is from Denmark, so it has Danier. So this is all in Latin. Rex, current coins uh, of this time, mainly in Latin. Obviously the German ones were in German, because they didn't want to adopt Latin. The ones were in uh, Russian. But the majority of coins are actually in Latin the time this one's a 15 ski league um Rixmont. so rm is Rixmont. so they actually had two or three different currencies in circulation at this time and was this one rated yes rated and it's sad that it has a hole in the top oh that is just so sad so someone's probably used this as a necklace Put it on a necklace. So we have a look at the damage. Oh yeah, damage up the top there. Beautiful. But this coin is the most interesting that I have of the lot. So, anyway, I'd like to thank you very much for watching my video. And uh, please like and subscribe if you like coins and banknotes. And have an awesome coin collecting time, people. Bye-bye.